So now that we've got access to our emails, we can now go and open up the classroom. So these little buttons on the top here, these nine buttons, if you click on them, you'll see that you have access to the drive, you have sheets, everything. If you scroll all the way down, we're looking for your classroom tab. You can go and create this as a shortcut, so you can put it as a favorite, or on your desktop over here, you can go and add it as a shortcut by clicking Add Shortcut. We want Google Classroom, and we can go and put in the URL from the tab itself. As you can see, it will now be there. If you're not sure how to do that, you can always just search Google Classroom in the tab over here. And you can do this for everything. You can do this for your Google Classroom, the Google Drive. You will then open up the Google Classroom and you'll be able to copy the URL and make it a shortcut. Okay. So we are now in the Classroom tab and I just want to make sure you guys understand once again, if you are using your private Gmail account on your Google Drive, okay, you'd need to be using Chrome over here. And I will show you, if necessary, how to go and download it if you're not currently using it. You need to make sure you're in your, with your EBS account. If you're not in with your EBS account, you're not going to have access to the classrooms. So from here, I'm going to go open up my classroom. There is a drop-down list here, and you'll see there is a bit of a flow of how to get into the classroom. So if you need to go through it, you can go through all the information. Down here it will be all your um, classrooms that you have access to and under to do will be any tasks that you have to do for any of your subjects that you're looking at. Okay, so if there's any reminders, it will pitch up there. The stream is used to go and discuss any issues. So for online students especially, you should be using and putting all your comments over here instead of um, going and emailing the lecturer directly. Yeah. If you do have a personal issue, please just contact the lecturer. Um, but otherwise, any classwork or class issue should be directed on the stream and should be responded on the stream for everyone to be able to access that information to benefit from the question itself. Your classwork is where we're going to access our PACER. Okay? So the PACER is over there. You'll open it up and you'll see that there are class comments as here as well. Unless it's a specific issue with the PACER, I would address all your issues in the stream tab and all you will do is Click on it, you can attach documents and files as well if you need. And then you'll go to your people and you'll be able to see who the students are and who the teachers are. If you need to contact a specific student or a teacher, you are able to just send them an email and open up. And that will open up your emails and then you'll be able to address it to them. For this, guys, if you don't sign straight into your account, all you need to do is just go, and I want to show you how it, if it's incorrectly done to start with, All you'll do is just switch accounts by, collect, uh, by uh, selecting which account you want, or you can go and add account. Okay. So this is my teacher account, so obviously you won't have access to this, but to just switch, I'm going to go and click on there. You can go and change settings and make things default if you would like, and that is completely up to the individual person.